Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Praetorian, and welcome back to Heart Farm 4 as we are playing with the Dutch. Uh, so, we are finally in the war. Uh, I was hoping to have that happen last episode, but unfortunately, it just didn't work out. Uh, the Germans just just didn't want to declare war on either us or Belgium, so we had to wait till they declared war on the uh, Swiss. Uh, so I, I said last episode that we'd end by looking at the faction map, but then I forgot. So this is what the faction map looks like. I did need to turn WASD keys on so we could scroll around the map. Uh, so this is the axis. Uh, obviously they have all this territory here. You know, this is Germany and Romania. Uh, you got the British, of course. Uh, they do have uh, Venezuela, and that's a serious problem. Uh, Venezuela is in the war. Uh, Peru is on their side as well. Uh, they're currently fighting... Uh, Who's this? This is Ecuador. Yes, that's right. So Ecuador is right there. They're about to wipe them out. Uh, and Panama is getting wiped out by Metzko. So, of course, Metzko is in the axis as well. And it seems that we have uh, Dominican Republic is in their faction too. So that's the way it looks here. We got the Commonwealth of Nations, of course, with the, uh, I think it's just the Australians, Canadians, and New Zealand right now. Yeah, I believe that's all that's in it. Of course, common turn is Italy and uh, the Soviet Union. Uh, looks like Italy might be winning in North Africa, surprisingly. Uh, yeah, they seem to be uh, uh, progressing there against the French. Uh, all right, uh, they, they're, uh, the French are obviously having, having issues uh, trying to border, to, to man all their borders. I'm assuming they probably pulled troops out of North Africa to you know, make sure that they have the uh, German border and the Italian border, um, you know, properly manned. And, and maybe the Italians should have done that because the Italians are losing territory there. Uh, so I think that's it. I think that's all we really needed to see here But I did want to take a look at that because I, I forgot to do it last episode So we're gonna before I go managing our, our Navy. We're gonna let this play one one hour. I want to see uh, The current situation in the the seas See how things are going here All right, I'm not seeing any convoys sunk just yet. I, I'm thinking we're probably gonna have to pull back all of our trade guys uh, I imagine they're gonna just sink all of our damn convoys so we're gonna probably gonna have to pull our trade back uh, looks like they are attacking here what we're gonna do is I'm gonna try and cut those yeah cut off the the British divisions here if we attack here in Georgetown uh, then we would uh, you know be able to cut them off completely so we'll have these two attack here and that does look like it'll be a victory and maybe we'll be able to go and take that and cut that division off and get them destroyed uh, so we do have uh, did we do the I think we did this last episode Pretty sure. Uh, the uh, yep, we did that. Excellent. So we're getting that knocked out, uh, and we also have a military factory to get signed. But I think we're probably gonna have to pull back on all of our military factories, guys. We'll, we'll see how we, how we go as far as convoys getting sunk. But yeah, I don't I don't see us being able to keep these going. Uh, what should we put it at for right now, though? I guess we could put it on our anti-air. Suppose. Oh, we already have two going towards anti-air. Never mind. Uh, well, let's just go and put it towards the support equipment then. All right, uh, so we've got that building. Uh, we can modify our government. We're saving this uh, so that we can do limited conscription and change up our mobilization. Hmm, which one do we want to do first? Uh, well, getting those civilian factories would be super helpful. We're about actually going to be able to get both of them soon. Uh, let's do the mobilization first. I think that'd be the most useful immediately. So we're going to switch over to war economy. And when we get that another 30 political power, we'll go ahead and change up the conscription law. Uh, so that's going to give us another... Well, uh, maybe another factory here, a couple factories here to uh, work on trying to get those, uh, you know, those coastal forts done. Uh, so we've got our troops moving in South America. Now over here, let's take a look at what the situation looks like. All right, there's at least a few divisions. I'm seeing, like, that's at least two. We don't know if it's exactly two. And then there's one there and one there. I don't know if there's any over here guarding the port. All right, so this is what we're going to do, guys. Let's go ahead and attack here. We're going to keep a division here. And, oh, we didn't pull these guys in yet. My bad. Uh, I was like, what the hell? Why won't it let me? We need to go ahead and pull these guys in. There we go. Excellent. So they've been pulled in the conflict. Let's go ahead and start attacking here. Uh, we're going to try and grab that port if we can, which means we'll probably have to attack these guys. Uh, but let's wait and see what happens before we do that. Uh, we'll just have this guy move in here for right now. Uh, not going to attack these guys. I'm trying to get the ports. I don't know if we can win here. We'll try. Try to get a win. Knock that port out. We'll go ahead and take that territory. All right, looks like that would be a victory. We're going to have to probably send this division in as well, though. Let's go and start pushing forward here. And there's nobody defending there, so we'll push forward there as well. Try and get around these guys and get them completely cut off if we can. Kind of a weird uh, area they have their troops. I mean, this makes sense, having them guarding the port. But I don't know why they have them right there, uh, right in the middle. 
That's kind of odd. Uh, so I think that is all we needed to do over there. Uh, so let's go back over to Europe and see how the situation is going here. They haven't started attacking us just yet. All right, I think we could probably let this start playing then. Oh, we do need to do something about this though. All right, so let's go and say we're not interested in doing war propaganda on any of these guys. Get rid of some of these icons up here. Uh, we know about, I think, everything else we need to know about. Yeah, all right, awesome. So let's just go and start letting it play. See if they start attacking us over here. Uh, and we'll we'll pay attention to any uh, battles going on, seeing if we start losing convoys, a lot of convoys or anything like that. Oh yes, our fleet. I completely forgot about the fleet. I knew there was something I was forgetting. Of course, there's always something. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and have this fleet go out here. I don't know how well this is gonna work. Uh, we'll we'll take a look though. Let's have them do some convoy raiding right out here. Uh, to try and shut down any convoys coming to supply the British here. Uh, we did end up winning there, uh, but I don't actually want them to retreat. Uh, four days and two hours. Oh, damn you. Oh, that's quite unfortunate, guys. Yeah, they're gonna be able to get there before us. Shit. That means we're not gonna be able to get them destroyed. That's a real shame. I should have pulled this back. Uh, I meant to just attack them just temporarily. Uh, so yeah, that didn't go quite the way we would have wanted. Uh, the Venezuelans can attack us here whenever the hell they want to, and there is absolutely nothing we can do about that. We would not be able to stop them. Uh, yeah, there's there's no way we could stop them on that. Uh, which army is this? This is this one. Okay. Uh, we will go ahead and keep... Uh, yeah, we'll keep the general over here. Uh, I'm just kind of worried that we don't have enough generals, which is kind of a shame. All right, let's go back to where the action's at, guys. Let's see uh, what's happening over here. We could advance the frontier. That would give up our entrenchment bonus, though. And they're going to be back over here soon any damn way. Yeah, you, let's not do that, guys. You can see that we wouldn't, even, we wouldn't have time to take advantage of it. All right, let's take a look at how Belgium's gone. Uh, they're holding out. Okay. They're not really attacking over here. We were able to get our troops over here. Excellent. Uh, let's go ahead and have um, this guy come over here now. And I think this guy did pull back. All right, so we're just going to hold these two for right now. I think we were attempting to do this to help them out because they did take that province from us and there we go all right so we're going to try and hold those two provinces for them they need to get some troops over here but they're they're holding out okay i don't know how long uh belgium will uh eventually hold out uh we do have our first uh, naval battle over here we're trying to sink two troop convoys that were actually attempting to come over here uh but we we do it does look like there's some destroyers coming to engage us unfortunately uh and we did sink some convoys here awesome we got some convoys sunk. Excellent. And we actually were able to get here first. All right. That's surprising. And I thought it said that we couldn't get there. All right. So that is going to let us destroy them. Excellent. Get that British division destroyed. They'll come over here. We're going to try and get control of this. Uh, the aluminum there, uh, them losing that is going to drastically impact their uh, ability to produce planes. We're not going to attempt to advance here. I see no reason to do that. Uh, we got one division here. Uh, maybe if we start winning over there, perhaps. I don't know. Uh, we might be able to win that initial fight, but we lose all the entrenchment, so it wouldn't be worth it, I don't think. Uh, over here is looking pretty good. And we are going to play extremely slow, guys, uh, because we're a little minor country, and one little tiny mistake would, uh, you know, result in, uh, you know, massive issues for us. We did take that port. Excellent. Uh, there are troops here defending that port. That's a shame. Let's go ahead and cut off the divisions that are here. And we're going to bring this guy over to here. And we're just going to go ahead and attack these guys, most likely. Let me see. How long do we have? Four days? Three days, and how long does it take? Two days. All right, they'll be cut off. They can move there, that's fine. Uh, let's go ahead and have these guys go here, and those guys are already going over there. Excellent. Uh, so let's go ahead and have this division here, try and grab that province, cut them off from going that way, cut off any divisions that might be over there. Uh, and I think that's good for this area here. And are we being engaged in any other locations? Oh man, good God. Look at that fleet there. I was going to send my fleet out here, but nope, we're not doing that. Yeah, no fucking way. <laughs> we're not sending our fleet out there. Uh, I was going to send these submarines out here to, to help out. Maybe if we get an invasion uh, notification, I'll send them out here to try and sink any uh, invasion attempts. But I think our fleet is probably going to stay in uh, until we get like a major naval power on our side. Because as of right now, the Germans and the British aren't fighting any major naval powers. Uh, so they, they control the seas completely. Uh, nobody even to contend with them. All right, so we do have these two, two troops, excuse me, that are training up. 
Uh, and let's take a look what happened over here. We did sink those two convoys. Excellent. Yeah, that's going well. Uh, we did wrap this up as well. Those guys are going to take that. Let's go and have these guys start pushing forward here. And then we're just going to go straight all the way over here. At least get the English territory taken. You know, all the British territory taken. And then maybe we'll advance into Venezuela if there's nobody there. I don't see any reason not to. They are attacking us here. We are just barely winning. That's seven divisions attacking. I wish I had another division over there. Uh, Non-aggression pack from Romania. We will take that. And yeah, we'll take all these, uh, any non-aggression packs, any offers for, uh, or requests for military access. We will approve them. I'm absolutely fine with that. All right. So the Germans are not attacking us yet. They're not prepared uh, because they were mainly wanting to fight the Swiss. Remember that. They did attack the Swiss, not us. And our allies are attacking over here, and they're, it's not very effective. Uh, they probably shouldn't be doing those attacks. All right. Uh, let's see if it's another naval combat. Here it is. Uh, we're getting, engaging freight convoys, and their cruisers are not having any luck uh, actually sinking our our, our uh, submarines as of yet. Of course, that could very well change. Uh, they're attempting to advance over here. I think that would connect them, so we do have to attack them. Uh, but remember, they are now uh, cut off from supply, so that is fine. If we take that province there, then they'll have nowhere to retreat to. Uh, these guys are attempting to attack there. Let's go and make sure that they can't do that. Uh, we will. The way we'll do this, let's attack here, and then I really just want to win here on the port. Uh, once we take the port, uh, then all these divisions here will be cut off. Uh, still waiting for more divisions. I might go ahead and have some of them take the railroads, actually. This guy's going to move over to here. And then this guy's going to move up there. And you're moving there. All right. Just kind of help us out. It's looking pretty good over there. Uh, I think, we, I think we're think we going to win in North Borneo. I feel, oh, they're attacking us. Here we go. All right, so they have launched their attack, and we can see where we're holding up and where we are not. Uh, over here in Arnhem, we are not holding up. Not at all. Yeah, that is bad. Okay, and if we lose that, I mean, you basically lose the rest of it. I guess they can retreat here. No, because then you got this area. Yeah, you basically lose it. We'd have to retreat all of them more than likely. It kind of sucks, because we built all these fortifications, and we don't really get to make use of them much. Maybe what we'll do is take... I mean, I feel pretty confident with the five fortifications here. We could also take one of the divisions from over here, although I'm a little bit worried about the situation here. All right, this is what we're going to do. We're going to take one division and see if that is enough to help them. Uh, I don't think it will be. Yeah, I don't see that being enough. We're probably going to let them continue training, I suppose, until we come out here, which we're not going to go out to these provinces until they take uh, this territory here. And we do have troops here trying to stop them from taking that. All right, we did win there. Uh, this here is just garbage, man. Yeah, that's a yeah. I don't think we're gonna hold out there. Holding out everywhere else though. But yeah, they're having they're back and having it back up. All right, but that's a real shame. Uh, we did get another division to them, but it wasn't enough. Yeah, this is this is the weak point right here. Uh, well, it's turning yellow now. Yeah, that's the weak point, guys. There's no uh, no saving them there. And I don't really want to pull from here because then they lose their fortification bonus. Hmm. I'm trying to think how else we can deal with this. There's not really any other way other than sending them another an additional division. And I don't really want to do that either because uh, I want to keep these troops here in Rotterdam for right now. We could send... Well, we have these here. All right. We're going to have to send one of these guys, unfortunately. All right. Let's get them going over there. And let's get them moving there now. And I don't know if he'll make it or not. I guess we'll find out. Uh, we could also send... Well, then we lose the fortification. Hmm. Yeah, we're just going to send that guy and hope he makes it. I don't think he will, though. I think we're going to lose that. We'll fight as hard as we can, guys. Uh, so it looks like we did finish. Excellent. Uh, we did get the, uh, the bonus. Uh, we can now drain the water lines if we so desired. Uh, so that remember, that does... Uh, you know, effect speed, entrenchment speed, and division defense. 50% uh, division defense is why we're doing it. And I was expecting that that would, that would uh, result in us having a very good chance of defending here, but apparently not. Yep. In this, this area... Oh, wait a minute. Hold up. This area doesn't have... That's why. Okay, so this area doesn't get the flooded bonus. Hmm. Only certain areas do. Okay, I see. It's only certain provinces. Does this one get it? This one does not. Neither does this one. Okay, that's interesting. Yeah, so it's all right here in Holland. All the Holland provinces do. And then the two provinces here seem to get it as well. All right, I didn't know that. Okay, so that just further, you know, furthers my belief that we should only be defending in those areas. 
everywhere else is a liability. Uh, so we are still defending here, keeping Belgium safe. Uh, so let's continue doing that. Let's take a look at how the situation here went. Uh, let's go and move these guys up over to here. And I think we will go ahead and give them a planning bonus. Yeah, let's go ahead and give them a line. Uh, just like so. And maybe we'll do an attack here. I don't see any reason not to. Let's let's try, guys. Let's go ahead and take a one division and send them that way, and one division and send them this way. We'll see how it goes. Looks like we would get a win there. I mean, it'd be crazy if we could knock Venezuela out. I don't know what they're doing with all their divisions, uh, but we know that Peru isn't in here fighting Ecuador. Uh, of course, Mexico is, is also seems to be fighting them as well. Has some troops over there, perhaps. Uh, so let's take a look at the situation here. All right, so trying to get the port taken. Doing okay. We need more divisions, though. Uh, what we'll do is we're going to send this guy to grab this province. And then let's have... I don't want these to stop them from moving. All right, so what does that have to wait? Uh, all the divisions are assigned here, which is not really what we want. So let's go ahead and do it th th this way. Let's go ahead and have these guys go over here. We don't want to attack across the river. Have them attack that way. Need another division to try and get that port taken. Go ahead and approve all of the military axis. And also take a look at what decisions. The drain the water lines, that's right. We need to go ahead and say we're not interested in doing that. And what was the other one? War propaganda against Great Britain. Well, our war support is 88% because we're in the defensive war. Remember, that's the reason why I wanted to, to do it through the request. Because I think if you just do the join wars, I think it counts as an attack uh, for whatever reason. Uh, it's like you're attacking them, uh, which is... I don't know. It's kind of odd, I suppose. Uh, but, yeah, I, I think that was the best way to do it. Uh, so we are losing this attack here. Remember, they do get that if we don't get there soon. But it looks like we should be there momentarily. All right, excellent. Uh, and let's take a look what happened over here. Uh, we did sink a convoy. Our ships got out safely. All right, we got a British convoy. I think those might have been troop convoys as well. All right, awesome. Uh, it looks like this is not going to work. Let's go ahead and pull it back. We could attack there. I almost feel like... I mean, we could try and get over here and then grab up this province because it's so important with the to the British getting their fuel. We'll try to, guys, but I don't think this is going to work out for us. <laughs> I think we're going to end up getting pushed back and losing all this territory if I get too crazy with it. Yeah. Yep. All right. Yeah, we're not going to advance any further. We'll just try and stay on the defense here. We might need to pull that guy back, though. Uh, that sucks. We are winning here. Excellent. Let's go ahead and dip back over to Europe. Make sure everything's going great over here. Oh, we left Arn We lost Arnhem. All right. So let's go ahead and set up defenses here now, guys. This is this is not great. <laughs> let's go ahead and get our troops out. Really need to be paying better attention to this front, honestly. Uh, and we'll just have these guys go. All right. So let's delete this one. I think it's its own own uh, situation there. And then we're gonna want to do have all this be one. Uh, you know, one line here. And then have all these guys here go to that front. Go ahead and start pulling back now. Kind of sucks that we can't hold that. It feels like we're just going to have to completely, you know, pull all the divisions back. Yeah, there's no real other way to, to deal with this. Yeah, it kind of sucks as we're winning here. I don't know how else to deal with it, though. Yeah, without possibly getting troops cut off from supply. Yeah, because if they attack right there, then we're screwed. We'll see what happens. See if they attack over there. I don't know, but then we can't leave it open, though. Hmm. What if we only sent one division over there and took the other three and put them here? And then extended the front, like so, so that they stay there. And let's just see what happens. Uh, oops. We need to make sure they're signed to there, don't we? All right, uh, we'll see how that ends up going. Still holding out over here. Excellent. Uh, these guys are going over that way now. Uh, what we'll do is we'll just have them go here for right now. And as soon as they get there, we'll kind of make an adjustment. They'll get there in one day and ten hours. They are attacking right there. All right, so we're probably going to have to retreat, guys. But they're actually holding out there, even though there's no fortifications here, which is interesting. Yeah, I'm surprised they're able to hold out there. I almost want to send one of these divisions over here. Uh, but yeah, we're holding out. Let's just leave it as is then. Don't need to get too crazy. Uh, these two guys, are they done yet? No, they're not. We'll wait to send them. We don't need them just yet, and I'd like to get that training bonus. Uh, let's take a look at what happened over here. We did sink three English cowboys. Fantastic, and they're not sinking any of our cowboys yet. 
So that's good news. Uh, we actually are winning there. Still waiting on these two divisions to get up there. It's going to take them a little while. Uh, and we're winning there. All right. So we're managing three separate areas, you know, manually. Uh, so, yeah, you can't expect that this is going to be a little bit uh, slow. <laughs> it's going to be slow, guys. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to have this guy go here. We're going to continue letting him attack there. That's absolutely fine. And... Okay, so the situation in China has been dealt with here. I think that's all between with Japan. Uh, and I went the exact opposite way that I should have. Uh, so... These guys are in the uh, Japanese faction. So Japan controls all of this. Wow. Japan is, is quite powerful right now. Very interesting. And they're currently working on the non-aggression pact with the Soviet Union. Okay. Uh, Germany's still doing their damn thing. Uh, the British are working on the Special Air Force. France is working on heavy bomber focus and armored effort for Italy. Okay. Let's take a look here. Still getting that division over there. Um, they're going to be pulling divisions off here up to that way. Uh, and this guy's almost there as well. And then we're going to make sure that he gets a sign there. A sign there. Excellent. Yeah, I'm surprised we're actually holding out here. Okay. That's fine then. We'll go ahead and let it, let it remain as is then. And holding out there as well. All right. When we end the episode, or, or, or getting close to end of the episode, we'll take a look at how we did on casualties as far as how much damage we did to the Germans. Because uh, that's really the key here, is trying to do as much damage to the Germans as we can. Uh, and another naval battle. The reason why I'm going to keep dipping over here is not just to see how many convoys we're sinking, but more than anything, because i got to see if we start losing convoys, because then we're going to have to pull our, our trade back, uh, which would be really unfortunate. And... Yeah, I'm not going to put anything out here right now, guys. Any ships. All right, so they're starting to lose here now as well. It's green now. All right, so we'll leave it. We'll leave it as is then. Yeah, as long as we continue to succeed here, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna change anything. All right, I didn't. I really didn't think we'd be able to hold this province. I don't like that they're only leaving three divisions right here though. I don't really have anywhere else to pull from though. Uh, we can't modify our government. Uh, we wanted to go ahead and, and change up the conscription. We're going to be changing up to extensive conscription of course. How are we doing on training troops up? We got one of these guys almost done. We're going to let them stay in here until they finish. Uh, and then we have these guys that are training as well and they're almost finished too. Alright, excellent. How are our allies doing? I guess we should probably take a look at how like the Swiss are doing. They're holding out. They did lose a province though. Uh, so that's unfortunate, but they probably are killing a lot of Germans. Uh, and, yeah, holding out over here as well. Pretty good. Yeah, not bad at all. I mean, they might take that province back. What is that, the sea? All right. So, yeah, things are going great in Europe. I just don't want to dip away from here for too long. Yeah, look at how weak these divisions are. They've been doing a lot of attacks, though. Yeah, their organization's kind of low. That's the reason why we have a little bit of respite right now. Uh, it's because their organization's a bit low on our front anyways. And they're attacking those fortifications. Those fortifications can be devastating. I'm glad that we were able to get as many as we did get. All right, so let's go ahead and get something here. Uh, I have no idea what we just got. I wasn't paying attention. Obviously, it's something in the Navy. Um, submarine. We got the snorkels before. Not entirely sure what we got. I think we got maybe the medium battery. We can probably build our light cruisers out, perhaps. Yeah, maybe we want to do that. We could also get the uh, cruiser armor if we wanted to. So let's go ahead and start working on the next cruiser, guys. Uh, because I want to say that we're about to get... Yeah, we actually just did get one built here. Alright, and these are the new... We got the new submarines building. We'll just build one more light cruiser. Uh, and then... Yeah, I don't even really want to build the, this light cruiser, actually. I almost want to go ahead and research the next one. I think that's what we're going to do. Let's just go ahead and stop this one here. And instead put it towards the new submarines and convoys. Because you know we're going to need lots of convoys. And then we'll go ahead and research the latest cruiser hull. It's kind of good timing, I think. Uh, and we did just lose a convoy. A German submarine got him. Alright, well, we keep paying attention to the submarine, or to the convoy losses. Once again, if it gets too high, I'm going to pull my trade back quite a bit. Uh, just kind of live off of the supply that we have. All right, so let's go ahead and dip over here, see how things are going. Uh, and we did get them cut off, but then they left the goddamn port undefended. Damn you. <laughs> Fucking morons. All right, let's go and attack over here. Uh, I should be able to wipe them out, so it shouldn't be an issue. And then we'll just get this division taken care of. Taking care of business here. I'll go this way. And bring in more of it. These guys can actually attack now. All right, so should be able to get them wiped out. 
And then this guy will attack once he gets the port. I just want to make sure we have the port. Uh, but yeah, North Borneo was taken relatively easily. That's a lot of rubber and oil that, that we snatched from him. Now the question is, are, are we going to be able to do an invasion of Singapore? Will our fleet be able to cover that? I don't actually know, guys. Uh, I suppose we'll we'll start looking at and looking at it soon. Let's take a look at what's happened over here. We did lose a submarine. All right, starting to lose some ships, guys. The destroyer finally found them, uh, but they're trying to get away. Uh, we did sink a convoy though, so I guess there's that. At least we got something. Uh, these guys are looking pretty good. We're just gonna stay on the defense over there, let them entrench, uh, and we got the crown jewel colony. Awesome. Uh, so that is just more infrastructure. Uh, over there, uh, so that might bring more resources, I suppose, and, and it does uh, tick down the Dutch East Indies, their, uh, their autonomy, so that's good as well. Uh, let's go ahead and, I guess we're going to go down the next branch here, or we could go ahead and, and do this one, uh, curtail colonial autonomy, uh, and this would be Grand Staley. Okay, so it does take political power, and okay, and it starts reducing their autonomy so that you can annex them, I suppose. What do these all do? Okay, so these are civilian factories, and yeah, that's super useful. Oh, and this is a civilian factory too. Yeah, I think we're gonna go and get the civilian factory. Let's see if there's anything else we need over here. Oh, wait a minute. There's something new here. This is replace the defeatist government. Oh, okay. So this will replace our current leader. Uh, and yeah, we definitely wanna do that. Uh, the new leader would have a plus 5% war support and a plus 15% effective partisans. Uh, and then I'm gonna show you why we wanna get rid of that, that old leader. I don't know if I showed this yet, but he has the defeatist uh, trait, which is a negative 25% to surrender limit, so we, we capitulate sooner, and negative 10% to war support. Uh, so I think that's gonna be uh, useful to do, so we'll go ahead and do that. Get rid of the defeatist in the government. All right, yeah, we're holding out here. Super surprised by it, but holding out. Uh, these guys are holding out too, longer than I was expecting. I think it's because the Germans are concentrating on other fronts. You know, they got all these troops up here. Let's see what happened over here. Uh, did lose that submarine in the convoy, as we, we've already seen. And we're engaging more convoys. Okay. Uh, not aggression pact with South Africa. We will accept that. And they decided not to attack us here, even though they could probably easily destroy us here if they wanted to. Uh, they decided not to do anything there either. Once again, we could probably attack and get a win there, but I don't see any purpose to doing that, guys. That div one division, they would just bring these 20-something divisions they have, uh, which I'm guessing were on the Colombian border here. That must have been what they're doing, sitting on the Colombian border. Uh, they're not at, at war yet, but they are very democratic, so... Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking that's what they're doing. That's where they're at. Well, now they're, they're taking us seriously. And they could move any of these divisions over here to, to you know, wipe us out. So, yeah, I don't think it would be a good idea. Oh, here we go. They're getting some of our convoys, guys. That's three freight convoys. And we've already lost one. Yeah, we're probably going to have to pull back some of the trade. Oh, you know what we could do? Yeah, we need to shut down access to the uh, English Channel. Let's do that. Make them go around. Yeah, make them all go around because English Channel is really risky. Uh, and then also, same thing here, shut down that that area too. I don't know if, it, I mean, we're at least being engaged there. So we'll shut down access to those two. Hopefully that'll help with our, uh, you know, with our convoys. That doesn't mean the submarines wouldn't be able to go out into it though, so we'd have to turn the channel yellow just for the, to get them out so they could operate out of one of these naval bases if we decided to put them out into the seas. Still no invasions though, so I don't really see any reasons to do that yet. Not yet anyway. All right, still winning over here. I almost want to attack there, but yeah, we'd have to fight our own fortifications. They look so weak though, don't they? They look like super weak, man. Let's attack. I mean, not all of them do, but yeah. Yeah, these guys are pretty good on strength and organization. It's just the ones on our border. I'm gonna attempt an attack here, and we're gonna go ahead and take any ones that have like low organization here, and have them attack as well. Not low organization, I meant low entrenchment, which is basically all of them but that one. So let's go ahead and have this guy attack, and then maybe one more division here. Alright, yeah, we'll try and get that territory back. I, yeah, I thought we had lost it for sure. Yeah, we'll try and get it back. See if we can do it. Alright, still training these guys up. I'm not entirely sure where we'll put them just yet. And German Reich just declared war on the Soviet Union. Maybe that's where all the troops are. <laughs> They're all on the Soviet border. Alright, so yeah, things are going good there. We did sink two more convoys over here. Uh, the war is going nicely so far. Let's go and dip over to these guys, take a look. Yep, they broke the pact, as we've seen. Uh, these guys over here are almost done for. Let's go ahead and start wrapping up the territory here. I think these guys, yeah, they're doing this way. Whoever gets there first. 
And then we'll attack with these guys as well. And these guys. Just to try and get this done with. Alright, excellent. Alright, uh, let's see how many convoys we end up losing here. Four convoys lost there. Uh, Alright. So, still looking okay on convoys. Dominican Republic was just... The Dominican Republic was just called in. Uh, as was Romania. Okay. And we'll take a look at what happened over here. We sunk two German convoys. Excellent. All right, defending here. We do have terrain on our side, in a way. I mean, it's, it's uh, you know, obviously difficult terrain for even if your troops are there. Uh, I want to say it does give a modifier. Maybe it doesn't. Yeah, it looks like it, it... Yeah, negative 40%. Okay, so a little bit of a modifier here uh, because of the jungle. Uh, but still losing here. I almost want to go ahead and pull back and uh, let all of our troops you know stay in one area and just kind of focus on defending that one that one province Venezuela was called in were they not already called in they must not have been called in against certain countries and Soviet Union it's been called in all right uh, so now that the Germans are at war with the Soviet Union that's gonna really change things uh, quite a bit Romania will probably get knocked out fairly quick I'd imagine and yeah, Metsco called in uh, so that's awesome uh, they can't really possibly focus and we took this back Ha <laughs> ha! We did it, guys. We took it back. All right. So what we're gonna want to do is take like one of these guys and have him assigned here. And actually, I think we had enough assigned there. So let's go and move him over to here. And then once again, we're gonna be changing this up uh, back to the way it was. And then we'll just take. Uh, let me see here. Another fallback line. And then have. I suppose we're going to have two divisions assigned to this just in case, guys, because it's so imperative that we hold that. And are these guys done training yet? Not yet. They're almost there. And then these guys can just stay here where they're at. All right. Excellent. And these guys are now pulling over to here. Are they not on this front? No, that's fine. I think those are the ones we sent from over there. All right. So looking pretty good, guys. Um... We got out of that province back. The Germans pulled a lot of troops off. They don't really take us seriously. We're sinking, we're sinking convoys. Uh, so we've got that. we got military factories uh, that we can assign. Let me take a look at how we're doing on equipment. D are losing some infantry equipment. Losing a bit of artillery as well. Let's go ahead and put... Let's put one of these on artillery because we do need to upgrade our artillery. Uh, so that would be helpful. Yeah, we're going to have to pull it back here, guys. Before these guys end up getting cut off. So let's go and retreat here. And get these guys going over to here. Uh, let's take a look at how we're doing over here. And Borneo, about to get this wrapped up. Let's go ahead and have this guy, uh, instead of going, he'll go that way. All right, still trying to destroy those two divisions over there. And South Africa has been called in, imperialist South Africa. And we're losing convoys up from the north as well. Damn. All right. The, the main thing I'm worried about here is losing so many convoys that we can't even, like, uh, move our troops around. Uh, yeah, you can just see. Yeah, this is, this is going to be a problem. Yeah, I'm pretty concerned about it, guys. Yeah, three more convoys sunk there. Let's take a look here. We got uh, those guys destroyed. I really feel like we're going to have to uh, pull back on the trade, guys. It's uh, definitely going to be necessary, which is a shame. Uh, it's really a shame, but we're going to have to stop trading with the French. Can't trade with them at all. We can trade with uh, Belgium is the, if they have any. They do have one. So let's go ahead and trade with them for their one because they neighbor us. And we're just going to be short on steel. I'll, I'll fix that in, in, in a little bit here, guys. We'll get it fixed. Uh, let's take a look at... if There's there's no other neighboring countries. So no matter what, it's going to have to go through the seas. And this is this zone is not protected either. We already saw that we lost convoys there. So yeah, I don't think we're going to trade with, with any of these guys here. Alright. Uh, so we'll just be short. It's fine. Okay. Uh, we'll go ahead and change up our production. So that we can make sure that we're building what we need uh, the most. And so, hmm, wonder why it's going down to this. What we're going to want to do is pull that back. We're just going to pull a lot of these factories back, guys. Probably pull back on here quite a bit as well. And then we'll, we'll try and get to the steel to, to an area that, that is fitting. Yeah, we're just not going to even be able to work on, on ships right now until we get the, the steel in a better situation, until a major naval power gets in here and starts helping us out. Because uh, we cannot lose all our convoys. We don't have a lot of them, guys. And once we lose them, it means I won't be able to move the troops over here in the Dutch East Indies. They'll be stuck here. 
Uh, we won't be able to do the naval invasion here. We won't be able to reinforce any of these areas that we probably don't want to lose. Uh, so that's all, all all the things I'm kind of considering here is that I don't want to get to where we have zero convoys because we just produce them so slow. And yeah, probably should focus our production on convoys, our naval production on convoys. I think that's the most important thing right now. So we'll probably pull back more more of our factories. Yeah, these guys aren't even producing anything, I don't think. Yeah, it looks like they're barely, they're just barely producing something. All right, so let's go ahead and pull back uh, the civilian and, and infantry equipment as well. Excuse me, the support and infantry equipment. We'll pull back to like three and two, perhaps. Still pretty short on steel. All right, what if we did like that? And put the convoys up at the top to prioritize. I think that's the way we're gonna do it, guys. Make sure that we're prioritizing convoys. All right, so that's the best we can do, guys, and we just won't be able to use the military factories, unfortunately. Uh, let's take a look at what we're building. We're still trying to get those coastal forts. We're gonna get the first one done over here on the 24th of April. All right, so we held out over here. We might be able to attack in advance, guys. It's a possibility. Uh, let's let the Germans get deeper into Russia before we do, though. And we'll also finish up these troops at the very least. I am a little bit worried that if I advance, though, I'm, I'm screwing myself over because we'll we'll have those issues with uh, losing our entrenchment. I don't know, but yeah, maybe we'll take a couple provinces here and there if we uh, can keep troops uh, entrenched then maybe it'd be worth it. All right, so we can now hold this here now that we have, well, two of them just retreated, but these two are here and they're holding for right now. I really hope we don't lose all this. Uh, election, wartime exception. Uh, Netherlands is in a state of war. Norman election would be held at this time, but being in the midst of an important conflict, many argue that cannot afford to spend time on political campaigning or change of leadership if that should come about. Uh, I guess I read that wrong, but anyways, it's because it seemed kind of oddly worded. Uh, I probably just read it read it wrong. Meanwhile, others claim that declaring the ongoing war a valid reason for skipping elections is the first step towards eroding Dutch democracy. Uh, after all, letting military matters take precedence over the people's influence could be a slippery slope. All right, so we could hold elections as usual and gain uh, a little bit of uh, lose a bit of base stability. Excuse me, or we can say we can take care of such matters when this war is through. That would end up resulting in us getting uh, both fascist and uh, fascists and communist support. We will gain stability though, and we'll gain political power. Let's say hold elections as usual. Can't let, we can't be like them. We can't be like the Germans, man. Yeah, look at all these damn convoys lost over here. All right, well, with us pulling trade back, that should fix the situation some. I don't know where, yeah, some of these, some of these you can't pull back. This is supply and stuff. Yeah, there's just no way to pull it back. So we're gonna lose convoys no matter what, but the point is to try and put as few convoys out there as we can. All right, guys, yeah, that's a shame. Shitty, shitty situation over here. We're losing fuel now and rubber because we can't get, we can't get what we need. Uh, so yeah, I think this is gonna be a major issue. That's the biggest uh, issue that was caused by the British uh, joining the Germans, is the, the supply problems that we're gonna have now and the resource issues because we just don't have, there's no navies, man. Uh, we did finish training up a division. Excellent, let's go and move them over to here. Right there. And these guys are finished too, lovely. All right, so what we're gonna do, uh, we're gonna put one division onto this front here. Oh, wait, we can't do that, that's right. I completely forgot, we were already stacked up. What well, we can do that, and then take some of their divisions out. Some of their crappy uh, divisions. I think that's what we were doing. Yeah, yeah, we'll do it that way. Put them into this, this uh, brown army here. I would love to get a, another general over here to help these guys. I might take this general, but I really want to do a naval invasion of Singapore, which we'd want we'd want a general for that. Uh, still trying to wrap these guys up over here. I didn't realize that there's troops there. Oh, is this... Who the hell is that? Is it Japanese troops? Sure, it looks like Japanese troops. Why would the Japanese be here? It looks like the Japanese flag. I can't really tell, though. So little. Huh, yeah, that's a Japanese flag. So the Japanese are here. The Japanese are at war with us? When did that happen? Now the Japanese aren't at war with us. They must be volunteers. Yeah, I think they're sending volunteers to them. Well, damn you. How dare you send volunteers against us? Yeah, they're sending volunteers to all of them. All right, the Japanese are helping them. 
So we got to we have to deal with the Japanese. So we're gonna send these guys over here. I think all of them are going over there. Uh, we're gonna get them wrapped up, get them destroyed, and uh, they'll learn not to have joined against us. Oh yes, that's right. We had troops that we were trying to trying to deal with. Uh, so what I wanted to do is take this guy here. Uh, he's currently going to the front where I want him. Excellent. So what we're gonna want to do is take uh, maybe a division off of here, one with not as high entrenchment. It would be. Well, these are all good divisions. We're going to take this division instead. And then we're going to bring him into that brown army here. Orange army, whatever you want. Freaking call it. And then we're going to send this guy to protect Belgium. So we'll send him here and we'll have troops here as well. And then the other division uh, that has done training. Let's go ahead and take him. Uh, once again, put him on probably this front here. We could also put him over here. We should probably put him in Rotterdam, actually. Put him in Rotterdam. Or instead of having him do that, we'll, we'll bring him like this and then have him go to Rotterdam to help protect it. All right, so that looks good. Yeah, I like that. Okay, let's go ahead and dip around our territory. And Soviet Union has called Italy into the conflict. That's right, I forgot Italy was in the Soviet faction. So now the Germans have another massive front to defend. Yeah, you'd think they're going to have to start pulling troops off of this front. How are we doing up here? Doing great up here? Yeah, this is looking, this is looking pretty good, guys. Look at the Germans, man. They're, they're at war with everything. They're not even at war with the French just yet. Yeah. All right. It does seem the Soviets are losing, though. I don't know why I expected them to do okay. <laughs> they never do okay. Oh, more convoys lost. All right. Let's take a look over here. And we did sink some convoys. Excellent. I almost want to put my submarines out just so they start attacking the submarines instead of attacking my fucking convoys. I almost want to do that, man. Put those, those submarines out here. Remember, they are level one submarines. It is an option. And they might even sink something. Yeah, we're just losing so many damn convoys. It's a damn shame. All right, so are the Japanese done with yet? No, we have to actually attack them. Let's go and attack them there. Oh, that's not gonna be a win. All right, pull it back. We're having some massive supply issues here as well. Uh, too many troops over here, I guess. Uh, maybe we should go ahead and pull back. Is this all one supply zone? Oh, it uh, looks like it's all one supply zone, so it's pretty pretty much irrelevant. Uh, there's no point on even trying to pull them out. But yeah, we're going to want to do a naval invasion from over here and attack Singapore. I'm going to attempt to, guys. Uh, it's a very close port from here to here. We probably won't attack Singapore because that's the most likely to be defended. But yeah, this is a pretty close port. I think we're going to do a naval invasion and try and get uh, Singapore into our hand. Get the, the Malay uh, Peninsula into our hands, and that would really, really hurt the Axis. That's going to be bad for them. Alright, so just getting our troops moved around, and I think we are going to go ahead and attempt an attack here, guys. Like, right there would looks like the easiest province to attack, though it doesn't reduce the front at all. So what we're going to have to do is take, just, if we can't send two divisions and do it, then we can't do it, basically. Because they lose their entrenchment even if they just support the attack. So let's try and attack here. I don't know, they got those medium tanks there, guys. I don't think this is going to work. Oh, it's so close. It is ticking down, though. It's like if we just sent one more damn division. I don't really want to lose fortifications, man. All right, we'll try. It is green now. Yeah, we'll try and get little little wins where we can. And, yeah, that's, this is going to mess me up. I'm not used to having those military factories and not using them. Ah, oh, damn, man. More convoys lost. Yeah, this is just this is bad, man. I don't know where else to... There's nowhere else to go, though. Uh, there's no other way to get supplies here. It's just, we're just going to lose convoys. Alright, it's kind of a shame. Alright, so we have another division here. Uh, I don't know if two will be enough. Let's try it. It's not enough. Alright, so we'll have to keep, keep pulling it back. They don't have any supply there, so eventually, eventually we're going to get the win. Uh, let's take a look over here. We do have these divisions done. Let's go and put them in that train army. Get them training up. And I suppose we'll go ahead and start moving divisions over here in preparation for the attack. Yeah. Uh, we'll take a few of these guys and move them over here. Just get them going over there, and I'm not going to set them up for a naval invasion just yet. We'll wait, <laughs> but we'll get them prepared for it. Uh, you know what? Let's not send all of them. Let's leave one of them here. The other two can go over there. All right, uh, so let's go and dip back on over to... Oh, it's, we got to use this army here. Somewhere. <laughs> Is it these guys? I'm never going to be able to do it this way. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, that doesn't work at all. I'm trying to like use this to, it would've just been quicker to just go straight to fucking South America. Cause they're not in their own army, are they? Oh, they are. Yeah, that's right. I don't know why I was thinking it's these guys that are in the defensive army. All right, uh, so it looks like we did lose there. Uh, we're attacking now. I'd prefer to just, I mean, well, if we're gonna take it, then I guess we'll keep on attacking. Hmm. Yeah, it looks like we're gonna win there. I guess we'll go and push them back again, I, I suppose. Might as well. Yeah, it looks like we're, we're gonna win it. All right, we'll go push them back. Let's take a look how the situation on that attack is going. Uh, did we win it? Uh, looks like we did not win it. All we did was exhaust ourselves and lose our entrenchment. All right. Well, I tried. I tried a little attack, the one that I thought would be the most likely to get a victory there. You can see that their strength is back up now. Yeah, that was just a little temporary strength dip for them. All right, still winning there. Yeah, they're definitely defeating the, the Soviets right now. Uh, the Italians are pushing forward, though. I'm guessing the Germans didn't have enough troops on the Italian border, but remember, the Italians are also losing territory to the French. Did sink some convoys there. Maybe we should go ahead and have our, our uh, submarines start patrolling around here. Let's go ahead and do that. Uh, we'll then get the, uh, the submarines here. We have two submarine fleets. We're going to get them out there patrolling, uh, and we'll have them patrol... I don't know if I actually want to patrol this region here. They might actually have somebody there. Let's just attempt to patrol right here. That's it. That's all I'm going to do, guys. And we'll go ahead and have just one of them for right now. I'm being very cautious with my ships over here, guys. These are our level 2 submarines that we've worked forever to build. Uh, so uh, let's do a bit of combo raiding here. And we'll see how that goes. Uh, looks like they, they do... No, they don't have any ships there. All right, so we'll go over there, do a bit of combo raid, and see if we have any success. All right. Uh, and because yeah, we are having some success on the convoy raiding. Uh, these guys are losing again, but we're getting more troops there. The thing is that kind of helps us here is that the, the, the terrain is so far apart. Yeah, they got a lot of divisions over here now. Uh, that you know, it takes a while to get to to here, even after they win. You know what? I almost want to just go ahead and say, screw this, and let's just have these guys defend here. Yeah, that's exactly what we're gonna do. And in fact, they don't need a, a front anymore, and we'll just do it like this. Throw these guys in this defensive army so that this army can have the, the commander, uh, so that we can actually have a general over here. All right, excellent. That's actually quite helpful. Uh, so we'll do that, and then these guys will be over here. We'll just pull them all back, and hopefully we don't lose this, this territory over here. There's a lot of troops that we're currently facing, though. Uh, so definitely a realistic... A chance here. We are losing all of our goddamn convoys. Shit. Okay. What if we completely shut down all these naval zones? I don't see how else to do it. And then that should shut down all routes. Yeah, there we go. That shut down all the routes. And we won't be able to get some of the, the supply and stuff, but that's fine. We can still trade with the... Oh, they, they won here. Damn it. The British are in the back. Shit. All right, guys. The British have come to the back area, and it doesn't look like they're going to get a win here. Hmm. We're going to have to start pulling back. we got to pull our troops back. Let's go and pull back to our defensive areas here. Let's get them going. Because, yeah, it does look like they're going to be able to conquer Belgium now. Yep, with them taking this back territory and I don't see them, it doesn't look like they're going to get a win here. That's six British divi British divisions there. Yeah, they're not going to win there. I mean, if they take it, I'll bring my troops back down here, but I don't expect them to. So we're going to go ahead and try and defend our three uh, provinces here. And yeah, you can see they're already attempting to, to, to take some of our territory. Hmm, I wonder if I can stop them. What if we moved this division over to here? Make sure that they can't get across there. All right. Uh, so, yeah, I, I don't think that we're going to be doing any more offensives, guys. I don't think it's going to be very effective. I think we're going to take one of these divisions here, though, and move him over to the Rotterdam front. Yeah, let's move him over to Rotterdam. And we shouldn't be losing any more convoys now. That's the hope, anyway. No more convoys should be getting sunk. We're down to 227 right now. We are losing fuel as well. Uh... I'm guessing, yeah, our Navy right now is going to be taken up, but we have a year's left of, of fuel stockpiled. So it's it's fine that those submarines continue to operate. 
Uh, and we are engaging troop convoys as well, so we might even be able to get any troops that are trying to come to Singapore destroyed. Let's get these guys destroyed. There we go. Wipe them out. They shouldn't have joined the wrong side, Japan. All right, so we got these troops training up. We're just about done with the episode, guys. Uh, this is about, you know, I don't, I don't know how far we made it. I'll take all these down aggression packs. I don't remember what, what the date was when we, when we started today. Uh, but yeah, I feel like we, we've made good progress. Uh, we've done some, done some good things here today, guys. I'm proud of you. Proud of our men. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and get these guys. Uh, we're gonna let them stay here. We're gonna let them entrench as well. And uh, we do control the region though, so they don't get their their aluminum. Uh, so we don't have to worry about that. Let's go and dip back over here. Make sure that things are going okay here. Uh, we're able to get a division, uh, two divisions over there. Excellent. Uh, to try and hold that territory for us. And we'll just leave this as is for right now, and just kind of. Play it by ear. We might need to stretch this out over this way, though. I have to change this up. Right, once again, we're gonna keep one division in Rotterdam. That is where our port is, and we're just gonna see what happens over here. See how things go. I would love to be able to get them destroyed uh, if we could take that port, but yeah, I'm just not willing to risk. The offensives are, yeah, we, we just haven't had much much uh, luck with offensives. If they can't do it, then I don't see us going over there having any assistance, uh, really helping them. All right, so we are holding out, uh, and as I said before we end the episode, and yeah, we're sinking some convoys over here too. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and take a look at the uh, casualties. In fact, I think I'm gonna do that now. Uh, these guys are losing. We're about to lose that. Ugh, that's a big old massive oil supply that we're gonna be losing. I mean, it's still green, uh, but yeah, it does seem that we're gonna we're gonna lose it there. All right, well, that's a shame. How are we doing on getting the Japanese wiped out? We are done. Excellent. All right, so what we're gonna wanna go ahead and do is we're gonna wanna go ahead and take a couple of these divisions and put them onto defensive armies so they can cover these ports for us because uh, I don't want to lose North Borneo. Uh, as of right now, there's no naval invasions, but I do want to have some some troops here. Uh, I would imagine that the British were to do anything, they would try and take North Borneo back. Uh, so let's go ahead and have a couple divisions uh, stay here, the ones with the least amount of experience, I suppose. And just, yeah, it's just these two. Go into the defensive armies here and then have one go there and then one go over to there. And then the rest of these guys, we're going to have them go over here on the railroads, and then they're gonna be going uh, across the seas, and we're gonna be doing a naval invasion. We're gonna do a naval invasion of Singapore. Try and take control of that. Uh, hopefully, they don't sink our convoys. I don't know how many how many troops we'll send, guys, because I don't want to send too many out there when we don't really control the sea. But we'll probably send our fleet to, to support them. Uh, I imagine that would be wise. Got some troops training up. I don't really want to build any more divisions than what we have building, though we can build these guys. Uh, this is fine, because this is not our manpower, not our equipment. Yeah, that's absolutely fine. So we'll go ahead and throw divisions out there. Oh, wow. Look at all those divisions we can get. All right. Uh, so, yeah, we'll keep those guys building. Uh, but uh, these ones here, we're not going to do any more of our own. Not so much because of manpower, but because of equipment. Uh, we're going to start building the equipment incredibly slow because, you know, well, I don't need to explain why. You can see why. This is uh, pretty shitty. Yeah, it's not, it's not great. And they're still building despite really lacking resources here, but we're still able to build a little bit. All right, so yeah, I think Belgium's lost now that the naval invasion happened over here, and then they keep attacking across these rivers, which is super stupid, just exhausting themselves uh, for no particular reason. We're going to try and get to June, guys, and that's where we're going to end it. I think that'd be a fantastic place to end it. Uh, German's not successful uh, trying to cross the river there. Uh, here in Switzerland, they are having some success, uh, but they're probably taking very heavy casualties. I can't wait to look at the casualties, uh, which we'll be doing once again, as soon as we get into June. We'll take a look at the casualties. See how things have gone over there. How is this going? Uh, they have given up. They've decided not to attack anymore. They might even leave, and then we'll, we'll attack back up that way if they do. Uh, we do have war propaganda against Venezuela. Let's go and say we're not interested in that. And yeah, they are trying to engage us, but they are not having much success before we sink their convoys. Yeah, that's awesome. Very pleased to see how that's going. Uh, and yeah, we have already engaged more convoys over here too. So we're having, we're doing, doing the, uh, the Lord's work, man. <laughs> All right, so these guys are here. We're not going to send them all at the same time. Let's just send a uh, like couple divisions at a time. Just for safety. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, we are ga engaging troop convoys there as well. Excellent. So that's going nicely. Uh, I don't know if we can help out. Yeah, I don't think there's probably too many, uh, you know, British ships going through here. So I don't see any reason to, uh, you know, set up the other submarines and stuff just now. Uh, yeah, that's that one. We already know about that. And that's that one. Excellent. All right, so we're almost to June. 
over here pausing it and shit. We're trying to get going. Uh, they want to send us lend lease. There's no way for them to give us lend lease though, because yeah, we don't have any. Uh, yeah, there's no way for them to do this because there's no access to our ports, and I can't give them access to the ports. Yep, we're just losing too many convoys, guys. Hey, I didn't think about doing that. I should have done that a while ago. Shut down uh, all all access to our ports. Uh, ooh, they might actually get. There we go. There we go. Excellent. So now that they did that, we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and. Well, we can't attack across here because we don't control the seas. All right. So now they did that. Now I will participate uh, if they can keep it, anyways. So let's go ahead and move. We'll move one division up. Let's go ahead and move these guys down as well. And we're gonna see if we can't now help out. I didn't think they would be able to do it, but yeah, they did do it. Uh, they're about to lose it again, but we'll see if we can't can't try and get it now. Yeah, because they do look a little bit weaker than I was expecting them to. We'll try and push them back into the sea then. All right, guys, so there we go. Uh, I meant to pause it. <laughs> so <laughs> did sink three convoys, and that is going to be it. Uh, so what we're going to be doing, there's those four troop convoys that we sunk. So what we're going to do now, guys, is we're going to go ahead and take a look at our war participation and the casualties. Uh, see how we're doing. Uh, so we are currently 2% towards capitulation. Uh, we've only taken 3.7 thousand casualties all done by Germany. Uh, but remember, we're also, the Dutch East Indies, we're using all their troops. So that's 31,000 casualties. A lot of that by Venezuela. That's been a very costly conflict. Good God. Uh, Germany's 8,000. British, 3,000. Switzerland is currently 48% towards capitulation, so not good on that front. Uh, they uh, have lost 82,000 casualties. Sweden, 102,000. Belgium, 157. Good God, that's a lot for them. 48,000 for Denmark. Uh, Soviets have already taken 180,000 casualties. They are currently 7% towards capitulation. Italians are 35% uh, towards capitulation. They've taken 71,000 casualties, but that doesn't count the, the war uh, against France. Uh, Australia 3,000. Look at Canada. Canada is about to capitulate. All right, guys. So that is actually going to be the end of the episode. Uh, and one thing I would like to do is we haven't really been paying attention to what Japan's doing. We did see that they did send some, some troops over here. I do want to see if they're working on attacking the United States yet. Okay, so they're doing the secure the Philippines right now. It doesn't mean they'll attack the United States though. But what it does mean is they might do the strike on the southern resource area. Uh, so we actually want them to attack Britain before they attack anybody else. Uh, it would be really good if they attacked the British first um, and then hopefully left us the fuck alone, but probably not. They're probably trying to attack us. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if they attack us before they attack the British uh, and then and then attack the United States so that if the United States can be at war with Britain at the same time, um, hey, I don't know how, how the United States is going to end up being in the war with the British unless we can invite them to a faction. Will they join our faction? Just take a look here. They are pretty damn close. Uh, 22. Uh, opinion would get it up by another 9 if we increased uh, relations here. Uh, so we could get it to... Yeah, I mean, it's still not enough though, guys. Uh, frankly, they're just not interested in the war right now. But they do want to contain the aggression of Venezuela. Uh, maybe soon it'll start taking up. Uh, we might want to invest in the political power to increase opinion if it gets any higher. Uh, because, yeah, we're pretty close. Negative 22, and, and we, like I said, you can get up to 10 from your opinion. If you get up to 100 opinion, then it increases their chance by uh, by 10. Uh, and we've already got um, one, one from it right now, so we'll get another 9. Something to think about. Uh, maybe increase in opinion with the Americans. Uh, they're currently working on... Oh, they're working on War Plan Red. Is that the Soviet? No, that's not the Soviet one. I always mix it up because it's... Let's just take a look at what they've been doing. Where are they at? Here's their war plans. All right, they've already done war plan orange against the Japanese and war plan black against the Germans. Uh, white's the, the Russian one. Red's the, the British one. Okay, so yeah, they're getting it against all the ones we want them to fight. Uh, once again, this doesn't make them fight them, though. It just decreases the opinion and, and gives them, you know, attack bonuses and defense bonuses against those countries. All right, well, uh, I mean, they would be fighting the British because the British have almost conquered all of Canada, so they're going to have to fight them. They're going to have to fight Mexico, too. They're not going to be able to help in our war for a while because they have to fight uh, in Canada and Mexico before they're going to be able to do anything. Uh, how many troops do the Americans have? And it, okay, they got they got an okay amount. Uh, how about their ships? How many have they built so far? They got 300-something ships. That's not too bad. All right, guys, so we're going to go ahead and end the episode here. Hope you guys did enjoy this extra-long episode full of war and combat and conflict. Uh, if you did, make sure you leave a like on the video, subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment. Hope to see you on the next episode, and thanks for watching, guys.